up, Goji Gamers? Today, we are going to be finding out what would happen if Legendary Godzilla met Godzilla Minus One. And this video was made by Goji Sitter. Go check him out. Look at me in the description. But, for, but, but before we get into that video, we're going to watch a 50 minute video on Godzilla Minus One Explained, talking about his abilities, his power, and everything else about Godzilla Minus One. But anyways, I'm super excited to get started with this, with these reactions. And I cannot wait to watch these videos, and I can't wait to see what happens when Legendary Godzilla beats Godzilla minus one. And also after that, we're gonna watch a, a, a fan made edit by Jurassic Zilla. It was on his second channel, so be sure to check him out. Link will be in the description. But anyways, I'm super excited to get started seeing what would happen if Legendary Godzilla met Godzilla minus one. Now considering how big of a fan I am of Godzilla minus one. I, I fan him, so I think that Godzilla Minus One destroys Legendary Godzilla. I'm sorry guys, please don't attack me in the comments. I mean, this is my opinion, and you can have your opinion as well. But anyways, I'm super excited to get started with these videos, so let's just go ahead and get into them. But before we start, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, snap on any of the videos, and let's get into this battle analysis! Oh boy guys, here we go! <laughs> the atomic breath! In this episode, yes, one of the Koji newest Center. innovations of Godzilla will enter the analysis <laughs> oh platform, my gosh. which Godzilla will lay all of its abilities, size, Yo. strengths, and weaknesses studied oh in Oh my gosh, detail. I cannot this wait to watch Denny this. Godzilla. This is minus yes. one. Yes! Let's just give it up for Godzilla of minus one. And temperamental Godzillas of all time. That actually is true. He got some anger issues. <laughs> Your favorite kaiju. Oh up, my gosh, I just one explained. Yes, Godzilla minus one explained. Wait. Sponsor, uh, oh my no, gosh, the sponsor. Alright, skip, skip to the action video. Alright, guys, one. so we're back to the action this video. Will begin by Man, I don't like sponsors. Form but gotta make money somehow. That will discuss its battle methodology Yo. And ending with an analysis oh, of this oh, animal's oh, oh. biology. Yes! Oh, atomic breath! Godzilla history. Yes. This creature was first seen That's right actually at the true. beginning of the film on Odo Island, but not as we saw it in the promotion. Oh yeah, they made the Godzilla a Godzilla source figure. They actually called the irradiated form or irradiated form. Still relatively huge compared to humans. Yo, that Godzilla source is big. This, depending on the posture. Whoa. In this sequence, Godzilla was in a pre-irradiated form, meaning that he still had Yeah, man, he was so power. crazy. Godzilla yeah. source was so Even crazy in the movie. Power, Godzilla Look at that. Still a force to be reckoned with. He did so Initially, much damage. Not extremely hostile towards humans, but once attacked, Godzilla would then proceed to make use of his sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and yeah. appendages such as his legs and tail to easily dispatch numerous humans. That is true. He One does it to note gruesomely. About this form was the fact that it walked with a it even shows him eating people on screen. It, resembling the posture of a theropod. Yep. This posture allowed this pre-irradiated Godzilla to reach down and pick up small humans. Additionally, this posture would allow him to move around faster, using its tail as a counterweight for aiding in balancing and steering. After Godzilla laid waste to the mechanics crew on Odo Island, only Tachibana and the main character Shikishima remained. Yeah, Shortly oh my gosh, man. He destroyed Shikishima everybody on Odo Island. In Godzilla's head at point and the novel Godzilla sees that Shikishima did not shoot, which is why he spared his life. Shock, he oh. was not able to fire on this monster. Would this have uh, okay. saved the lives of these men? Maybe for the time being, but we'd like to think If you that haven't Godzilla seen my theory video, go check this. that out. You'll see why in a little bit. That's that, that pretty crazy. I talked about how the 1954 and Godzilla minus one are connected. A secret. These yeah. would not Dude, I hope Toho makes more Godzilla form, movies like this. Because Godzilla minus one is amazing. Much larger animal. Why? Well, during a time lapse in the film, it just so happens that this Godzilla got caught up with a fission-based nuclear test near the Bikini Atoll Islands. Yeah, well, oh, look at that explosion! Otherwise known as Jeez. Operation Crossroads. Oh, I, this yep, Operation Crossroads. Changes in Godzilla. The first being the obvious. It's gargantuan size yeah, compared man. to how he was back in 1945. Well, he was 0 .1 meter tall. Point one meter tall. Godzilla in height four. and weight. But, yo, and dude, that is power. sick. That's right. Godzilla Look at that! A walking atomic weapon. The yeah, height man. of this new Godzilla, as it later appeared in 1947, would be a little bit over 50 meters. Another notable difference yeah, just of this point one meters. is its posture. Now this guy is walking upright. 
But why would this guy's posture change all of a sudden? Well, difference is oh, in guys. I, this is one of things, it's my favorite guys love this ride. on the skeletal formation due to a much heavier body. Walking awkwardly upright might have been this Godzilla's way to cope with this much weight. Yeah. Now relying on its wider feet, but much more on the tail for support, distributing this weight on three points of contact with the ground instead of just two. Similar to how some teenagers begin to walk awkwardly due to fast growth spurts and changes to their periphery that happen during high school. Yeah, I'm fixing to be a teenager in, in, um, in March. Our scaly friend here just needed a bit more time to get used to this new large body. But this Godzilla is more than just a large walking force of nature. Yeah, he's I'm way more than that. He's a literal, he's a literal stuff. walking nuclear larger, bomb. Much more robust form of this Godzilla still after two years of rapid growth and evolution. Look, his time and breath is so powerful that it even hurts him too. When it was smaller. One of the most notable melee weapons of this Godzilla was its tail. Yeah. With most of the centrifugal energy provided by the hips and prehensile to some mm. degree, this weapon showed to be most devastating when swung, yeah. literally cutting through buildings like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> yep. Because it was so much heavier and larger, each one of its steps would inflict much more damage than its smaller form. Exactly. It was estimated that this fellow weighed around 20,000 tons. Each of its footsteps would lift segments of the surrounding ground infrastructure, Cracking the ground underneath. Yeah, it causes shockwaves. Look, he just, he just, we he just shot people up in the air. Claws and upper body to bring down large structures, confirming that this guy could be a brawler if need be. Yeah. There were no other large kaiju in this film to further test this animal's melee abilities. Yeah, Godzilla in this movie was just enough. It was awesome weaponry. in this movie. A bit prior to Godzilla's landfall during the ocean sequences, we witnessed Godzilla use his other two sets of weapons against Ooh, the yeah. heavy cruiser yeah, Takao, man. inflicting Ooh. considerable damage. Its armor was composed of thick bony scales that acted more or less like heavy chainmail. At point blank range, however, these could penetrate and cause damage. But it wasn't enough to kill this animal. Definitely Why? not. Why? As it turns out, the absorption of the fission based bomb during Operation Crossroads had some other crazy side effects. Instant regeneration. Oh, oh, oh yeah, so his regeneration is so good. It's so fast in this movie. In any Godzilla. A good example of this was how this creature was able to regenerate once one of the mines blew up in its mouth, revealing one of this creature's critical weaknesses. Ooh, the yeah. unprotected areas inside its mouth. Yeah, That's right. right. Any explosion with the ability of releasing powerful pressure waves in this area would be enough to damage and potentially kill this Godzilla. This explosion would have to be. Then you have to kill every single cell inside Godzilla in order to destroy his after whole we see body. Mouth and head quickly regenerate back to functioning form. Same occurred after the Takao landed a good amount of hits to Godzilla's upper torso. This regenerative power proves to be quite handy, yeah. bringing Godzilla back to the fight in a matter of moments. This regenerative property can be attributed to the altered or mutated genetics of this face. Godzilla. Once absorbing all the radiation of this that was after bomb, he Godzilla fired the atomic beam. Adopted characteristics similar to those of salamanders. Salamanders? <laughs> can regenerate practically every organ in their entire Ooh. body. Arms, legs, and tail? Easy. But once you're able to regenerate organs such as the heart, lungs, and even parts of your spinal cord and brain, things begin to get frighteningly serious. Yeah, very Not serious. That these guys are immortal, they can die, but the point is that these can survive a larger number of traumatic injuries than your typical vertebrae. Oh my gosh, Same look at the regeneration on that. After surviving an explosion inside the mouth, it would only take a creative mind to kill this thing, especially yeah. after witnessing oh, this Oh, the atomic breath, weapon. oh my gosh. No Godzilla analysis is complete no, without absolutely. mentioning an atomic charge. No, what, no, so Godzilla analysis is complete the without the atomic breath. Atomic breaths ever seen. Formerly oh. referred to as the heat brain, yes. this animal is seen to supercharge this Look weapon at that. up its dorsal plates Jeez. from the tail leading up to the head. This frightening display becomes more terrifying as these plates. This is one of the best atomic breaths ever. As a sort of signifier that this particular plate is fully charged, yeah. ready for oh. its full power to be released. Full Once power. Once all of these have been fully charged, these will then proceed to sink into the creature's body, providing a powerful flux of energy. Oh, look at that! Mouth. 
this doesn't end here. No, it this Godzilla's does not. atomic heat ray will fall on its predetermined target, condensing into a ball of energy forming a literal atomic blast. Yeah. This pushes up a mushroom cloud so tall that it can be seen from hundreds of miles away. But the devastation has still just Whoa. begun. The shockwave of this blast is able to level down the surrounding infrastructures. Close to 30,000 yeah. people perished in Ginza. 30,000? perished due to the atomic blast. Of course Japan, it they did. after the war was at a state of zero. This is where Godzilla put Japan at minus yeah, one. Yeah, he dropped it down to this the negatives. This possibly be pushed even higher due to what happens after a nuke explodes in a given area. Fallout. Yeah, what is fallout. this stuff? After a nuclear explosion, Yo, the, look at the cloud nuke. carries radioactive particles into the atmosphere. This returns to ground in the form of dust or as tar-colored rain. Ooh. If exposed long enough, this could cause radioactive contamination, potentially killing anyone who does not wash this stuff away soon. Yeah. Food and water instantly become inadequate for use and consumption, causing the local surviving population to not only be showered with this stuff, but leaving them with nothing to eat or yeah, wash themselves with. Yeah, nothing to eat. As bad as nothing to sound, wash it off. The truth is that this attack could have been a lot worse. Given that a single well-charged blast of this Godzilla can produce an entire nuclear explosion. Yeah, because that's could what it did. Do, do. Can this Godzilla fire multiple heat oh, rays? What if he the did? It would be a frightening yes. What? In the final what? Of the film, we do find out that Godzilla can shoot multiple heat rays, but these do take some time to recharge. This time period multiple is heat rays? short. If permitted to shoot, say five blasts, the aftermath would have been something similar to a nuclear winter in this area. This, along with oh these blasts, gosh. would have the potential to kill hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of civilians. An animal like Yo. this must be stopped. Which is why Kenji Noda, ex-naval engineer, devised a plan to kill Godzilla. How would this work? It, I don't think out. it would work. Killing this animal using conventional methods seemed to be problematic to say the least. This animal survived blasts to the face, inside its mouth, straight to the chest, sure and did. capable of regenerating in record time. Not to mention... Yeah. So in response, the next it angered that thing. That it angered Godzilla, sorry. All directions at one time. In this case, Mr. Noda resorted to using the ocean as a weapon. Let us explain. It is no secret. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Um, if the thing imploded, uh, well, search it, yeah, it searched for the Titanic. An animal like Godzilla is used to living in deeper waters and as a result is used to these immense pressures. So why doesn't this Wait, kill him? What just There's happened? There's a trick to this. In order Bro, to safely it just these pulled up the, pressures, Godzilla would need to up descend the, um, slowly, <laughs> allowing his body to adjust to these high pressures. But Noda's plan here was to make him sink fast. Using Freon gas to make the water just around Godzilla up, less um, dense, the thing on my phone. Sink rapidly. Too fast for this body to adapt, making him get crushed from the surrounding pressure. Did this work? No. Yeah, Apparently, definitely this not. Godzilla He's is resistant, resistant to, to sudden stuff. pressure changes. However, his body did feel the effects of the sudden pressure change since we saw his dorsal plates shut down once reaching the depth of 1,500 meters. Yes. But remember, this animal's bizarre regeneration ability might have been another reason why he didn't die. So, what now? Well, Noda had a plan B. If this doesn't work, bringing Godzilla up really fast might have also done the trick. After being surrounded by high pressures, coming up to lower pressures too fast could also be lethal, causing bubbles to form and blocking the bloodstream, causing severe complications. After activating inflatables, Godzilla was brought almost up to the surface, and with a bit of help from additional naval craft, Godzilla was brought back up. But yep. he wasn't dead yet. Yeah, he was Fortunately, not dead. Shikishima had a plane loaded with explosives much more powerful than the mine used previously. Flying this plane directly into the Kaiju's mouth, Oh my gosh, look at his jaw! Its head. This <laughs> oh my not only gosh! Surely killed Godzilla, well, that is what happened in the movie, the rest but of the oh fleet my! Being incinerated by an atomic heat ray. So, did Godzilla die here? No. At the end you of have the to film, kill every cell in his body. Of Godzilla's corpse still contained living matter, which allowed yeah. it to regenerate once again. Additionally, yeah, a survivor so of the attack of Ginza, who happened to be Shikishima's partner, was seen to have a strange formation growing along the yeah, side she has of the neck, similar in color to the black rain seen earlier. Meaning that this radioactive fallout seen here may have an organic element to it, possibly Ooh, yeah. the culprit behind this woman's fast recovery. Since her face seemed to be a little bit too clean after being exposed to a plethora of flying objects and debris, 
those smaller injuries seem to have healed a bit too fast. What do you think comes next after this? Oh, Godzilla's gonna come back come strong. Back revenge, or will his revenge? He will come back for revenge. I know. It will. I know it will. Ooh, look at that merch. But anyways, that is the end of this video. But anyways, guys, that was such a great video. So thanks for that to go to share for that about the Godzilla minus one explain. He explained literally everything about Godzilla minus one, and most of this was true. But yo, dude. If it fired multiple heat rays at once, I don't I don't know what would happen, man. If he fired, if he fired, what like you said, if he fired five beams, I think Legendary would be toast. Oh my gosh, man! But seriously, that was such a crazy video. They had such crazy abilities, crazy regenerations. Crazy everything about Godzilla minus one. So big shout out to go to center for giving us a little more info about Godzilla minus one. But anyways, now we're on to the main course of this video. What if legendary Godzilla met Godzilla minus one by by Goji Center as well? But considering how big of a fan I am for minus one, I think that legendary Godzilla will destroy no, no I think that minus one will destroy legendary Godzilla. I'm sorry for Tom um, if you if you got confused, man. But no. I do not think that legendary beats minus one in my opinion. Minus one absolutely slams legendary. Well he will have some difficulty. But anyways, let's just get into this video. Alright guys, here we go. The main part of this the video. Gojira incarnations. Yeah, he has he has proven that. Wrecking anything that crosses its path. But yeah. what if legendary Godzilla oh, got in the way? Legendary Godzilla minus one. And I don't think it would go very well. <laughs> its monsterverse counterparts. Oh my gosh. In this episode, we'll reveal what could happen if these two existed in the same universe. Well, I'm a minus one fanboy, so I do along. think that minus one wins. Subscribe to not miss any content on your favorite kaiju. Coming up, legendary Godzilla let's meets go, minus Let's go, let's go, minus one meets legendary Godzilla. To begin, we'll start by stating that this episode is not necessary. A face off, but rather yeah, it's just a, a battle now where both Gojiras will have the opportunity to interact with each other in an alternate universe. Bro, look at in the this size scenario, comparison we'll stick with the events minus that one in is the so small. Godzilla minus one, where this guy visited Ginza and more or less marked his territory by leaving a very special form of radioactive footprints. Yeah, a new very explosion. Look at the that. Look, look, look. New oh my god, advances that brought forth this amount of destruction oh, took place at the end of World War II and improved upon during the Cold War era. If you want to relive the war atmosphere of this time period, there the, is no other Oh my gosh, another you know sponsor? Seriously? All right, sponsor, let's get to the actual the part of the video. Vehicle. All right, guys, we're back to the actual we video. The serious effects that are caused by just one of these heat ray blasts. Yeah. Yeah, but man. to go a little more in it's depth, devastating. Look at the, it's a nuclear bomb. Cloud happens to be Whoa. setting up the perfect condition Whoa. to send atomic particles up to the atmosphere. Yeah. These particles spread out and fall back down in the form of dust, or in many cases, as tar-colored rain. Oh Anything yeah, man. Like you said in the other video, with this is subject to radioactive it's... poisoning. Yeah, radioactive also poisoning. This renders any food, water, or ground inadequate for use or oh consumption. Look, People that look do at not the wash new... this stuff away or are exposed to the surrounding area where the new oh my gosh look at that one from ionizing radiation causing no, mutations bro. in their genetics or cancer there's more the debris and cloud that rises from the ground will block any sunlight for a long time period See, this is why any i surviving think minus one will just one shot godzilla legendary godzilla much of the surrounding flora to eventually it's the die nuke. off That's so why does all this matter in this scenario but i mean legendary godzilla feeds on radiation so i don't one think it would do anything rays fired by this godzilla has some serious consequences in the environment. Definitely. Good comes look, at the, look at the mushroom in cloud. In scenario, minus one fires <sighs> one heat ray and legendary just so happens to be close enough ooh, to detect ooh. a radioactive spike. Yeah, like I said, a minus one fanboy, so I think that minus one wins. Just don't, this confrontation just don't is say about I'm wrong, it's my opinion. While Godzilla makes his way to Ginza, let's quickly discuss what this Godzilla might do once he finds out that this dude is the culprit. Monster oh, I don't Godzilla, know, man. unlike its counterpart in minus one, has a different philosophy when it comes to inflicting destruction. This will be like an Among Us scenario. Role <laughs> in the planet is more because they're both Godzilla. Sure environmental stability. And to take out any threats that might cause global catastrophe. Yeah, there like Ghidorah. He caused all the weather, tornado, hurricanes. Oh my gosh, that atomic breath, man. I can't get over that. Over. 
In Aftershock, that's 2014. It's on the red. So weak. Another Muto pair to be produced in King of the Monsters. This guy was after Ghidorah, who was not only yep. a living Burning category Godzilla, king, but also the one responsible for summoning that's many titans so to wake up and ruin the planet. In Godzilla Dominion, the G-Man prevented Amulek from taking over a territory overseen by Behemoth, and in the act, saved one of the world's largest rainforests from being contaminated by this pestilent titan. So yeah. as we I can see, read all the Godzilla comics, but I want to read Godzilla and the environment for no good reason. To be fair, this Godzilla has caused a lot of collateral damage. Yeah, uh, but not, as, the not a lot of minus but never one. goes out and destroys things for no reason. Unless, of course, those things attack him. Yeah. So now that we learned what well, living yeah, forms piss Godzilla off, we can now go back to Minus One, who is admiring his work of art, which just so happens yeah, to be a the destructive type of stuff that work of art. Legendary, who actually just arrived Ooh. just in time to see the mess Minus One made. What exactly happens isn't known for sure, but we'd guess their first encounter would go a little like this. From Godzilla's point of view, the focal point of this scene would obviously be the big ginormous mushroom cloud that towers yeah. in the sky. Black tar like liquid rain as Godzilla gazes upon the leveled city and the mass corpses left behind by the rubble. It's evident that whatever life used to be here is now terminated, and this land is no longer suitable for life for many years. Now, no. logically, Godzilla <laughs> will try to figure Dude, out who did destroy this, Ginza. and to his surprise, he turns and sees what seems to be a smaller member of his own species. Surprise, surprise! Now, admittedly, we'd like to think that Legendary would be a bit surprised after finding out that this colossal mushroom cloud and vast amount of destruction was caused by this little fella right here. Don't get us wrong, Minus One is huge, but compared to Legendary, this dude is less than half the height of this Godzilla. Yeah. Legendary I mean, look is at the size comparison. Here while staring at this little guy. He's 50.1 meters, like and, Alpha, and Legendary Godzilla is 119 meters on the planet, may now think to do the following. One option would be to get the little Goji to submit and perhaps call him up later when a blast like this is required. So I don't think that's right ever going to work. A waste of atomic power. After all, the side effects oh, happening no, in Ginza are in the end beneficial to Legendary since this guy feeds Ooh, on radiation. Look at the nuke! That was a <laughs> it's monarch! It's not out of character for the G-Man to spare malevolent titans. He's done well, this by the time I'm recording this, I still haven't watched Monarch. And even gone as far as rescuing malevolent titans from humans, as was the case with Titanus Nakika. But will the, the G-Man spare minus one? Maybe that's if this one is cooperative, but there's a flip side to this. Upon encountering Minus One for the first time, Godzilla will not necessarily be sure that this guy is fully grown, meaning that in the G-Man's point of view, this guy could still be a juvenile and has more room to grow and get larger, potentially yep. growing to become more powerful than Whoa. himself, turning Whoa. Minus One <laughs> that would be into so a serious cool. threat, one that Whoa. might threaten his status as Alpha in the future. So, what would legendary Godzilla do in this case? I don't well, know. Probably try to point, kill minus one. Will very likely hate minus one automatically, since the cooperation of this fella seems very unlikely after witnessing that there was no real reason to destroy this place. There are no other kaiju around that were fighting minus one. There were no real pre-existing threats here that mess with the planet, therefore nullifying any good excuse minus one had for blowing up this place. As a result, Godzilla will now determine that. This dude is a bully and nothing else in a his bully? point of view. Now this well, leads us true. to how this Godzilla would fare in Whoa. battle. Here you have to set all bias aside regarding who's your favorite Godzilla and stick with the facts. And that is that oh, legendary come on, Godzilla man. will have it's the edge in most, if not all, physical categories. If you need more detail, then we're talking about some combat attributes such as weight, speed, agility, and most definitely melee weaponry. Since the tail alone of this Godzilla would be enough to send minus one flying. If hit with the very tip of the tail with the dorsal spikes, Legendary would technically almost be able to cut this dude in half, given the oh, man, come force. On. So, to save us some time, there is absolutely no way Minus One would be able to hold its ground against a melee assault from Legendary. And the best part here is that they both know this. Legendary Godzilla would literally be looking at Minus One with the we both know you don't want this fight look. <laughs> so obviously Minus One would resort to its more powerful weapon, the Heat Ray. Oh, the which heat is ray, a yes. an atomic ray of energy that condenses the I, I think, in, in, opinion, blast, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think that bomb. would um, kill or Legendary Godzilla. Or as Legendary Godzilla. Godzilla calls it, 
food. food. That's right. I know he feeds on radiation. Has served uh. these delicious atomic delicacies every time with favorable side effects, often returning as more robust, stronger, more energetic, agile, etc. That is because titans like him make use of these high levels of radiation and come out stronger than before. Regardless of the effects of the insane power of the pressure from the blast, humanity has been surprised by this feat already after the nuclear test in Castle Bravo when they realized oh, they yeah, we got the oh my god after blowing up Whoa. A in his face. In King of the Monsters, this was later used as a way to that juice like him Operation up. So Crossroads. there's absolutely no reason to think that if hit with a heat ray, legendary Godzilla wouldn't come out benefiting from this. Whoa. Does the blast itself affect Godzilla? Maybe, but it most definitely isn't enough to handicap him. After Serizawa detonated the warhead is, in man. Godzilla's lair, the previously injured G-Man rose rapidly, Whoa. displaying his full atomic prowess. So, in our scenario, Godzilla would initially run up to minus one, attempting Whoa, that to finish is terrifying. Attacks. Knowing that he's oh my about gosh. to get stomped, Minus One charges up his heat ray and yes, fires yes. at Legendary Goji. After the smoke clears away, and to Minus One's terror, Legendary Goji emerges from the cloud dust, gradually becoming even more radioactive. After witnessing that his most powerful attack did not work, he now has a decision to make. Submit or face certain death. So it's likely that if this Godzilla oh wants Look to stay alive, movements. he'll submit. However, legendary Godzilla may have different ideas. Remember, this little guy in his point of view could still grow up larger. If legendary lets him live, he risks this fella inflicting even more destruction, potentially killing millions of life forms. A fun detail is found in Godzilla Dominion, where he knew that this old nuclear warhead would explode if he allowed Scylla to access it. So he knows pretty well the negative effects of this power. So it's likely oh, that Godzilla explosion. would choose to end minus one. Godzilla's atomic breath works differently than minus one's, not necessarily condensing into an atomic bomb, but still packed with enough heat and destructive power to kill it if it's exposed to it for enough time. Oh, Melee man, wise, come on. Godzilla would tear no! to shreds, but risking regeneration after he's all torn oh, up. Oh, yeah, 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 regeneration after the bomb. Oh, my God. I can't blast. believe I forgot about but the regeneration. This is just one possibility. Do you think Legendary would spare minus one in hopes that he doesn't become trigger happy again? Um, or do you I think don't Minus either. one signed the line and sealed his fate by firing at legendary Goji. I think he will Don't steal his fate. Hit the link below to oh my gosh, we don't care about free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, so you can get all these exclusive bonuses and by the time I'm recording this, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get paid from episode. YouTube yet. Ooh, look at that merch! Once I start making money, I'll have to buy that. But anyways, guys, that was such a great video. Once again, big shout out to Goji Center for telling us what would happen if Legendary met Minus One. And I honestly think that Minus One beats Legendary Godzilla. I know, man. I know. It's my opinion, like I said. But like he said, he's just stick to the facts. But I don't think I can do that, man. It's my favorite Godzilla. But anyways, we are moving on to the final video made by Jurassic Zilla. And this is on his second channel, so be sure to check it out. Link will be in the description. And it's an edit on the actual battle of Godzilla Minus One versus Legendary Godzilla. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. Alright guys, here we go. The final video. We'll see what happens when Minus One fights Legendary Godzilla. Yo, bro, look at him. His, his design is one of my favorites. And there's Legendary Godzilla. Look, I honestly think that he beats Legendary Godzilla, okay? Oh, <laughs> Here we go! Sub the fight! Ooh! Just took an atomic breath! Ooh, he is angry! Whoa! That roar! That's not even cool! Oh! Atomic breath! Yo! This is cool! Oh no! Oh! Here we go! And... Oh! Oh! Yo, bro! That was sick! Let's 
Let's go, bro. Let's the minus one. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Why is, why is there a random horse there? This isn't the. I don't know. This isn't like 19 or 1800s. But. Yeah, it did nothing to Legendary Godzilla. Ooh. Ooh, bro, look at that! Bro, I think, oh my gosh, man. That was such a good video. Big shout out to Jurassic Zilla. But anyways, guys, it is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed me reacting to all these battle analysis and that battle. And all those videos were great. Big shout out to Goji Center and Jurassic Zilla on a second channel. Those videos were amazing. Now we got to learn so much about Godzilla Minus One and what he does and how how would it go if he met Minus One if he met Legendary Godzilla and how and how would the fight go? But anyways, it is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so I don't miss any of the videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys!